what is up everyone welcome to the channel today we have a banger video i'm gonna go over how i make a reel start to finish you guys are gonna get the behind the scenes how i film how i edit in davinci resolve and you guys are gonna see how i'm able to get a reel done in under an hour so for starters I am shooting on the Sony A6700, a brand new camera that just came out from Sony, and it is paired with the Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Now for behind the scenes, I am gonna be using my iPhone. I have another camera, but I don't have two tripods. But anyways, I'm gonna be shooting out here. Um, I'm not, I mean, the filming aspect isn't too much. I'm gonna show you guys how I work with my settings and my camera, just a general knowledge of how things work. And then after that, we're just gonna hop into DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna be able to edit this reel in under 30 minutes or so, depending on how fast the reel is gonna take me to edit. But anyways, we're gonna jump into the next portion, which is filming. All right, so here is my camera set up. This is the Sony A6700, as I previously said, and then the Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter. Now I have this L bracket on, as you could tell. But what I do here is I place this on just like this, and then I tighten it. Now that I have it tightened, I have it to where the screen can face this way so I can see myself while I'm filming, because um, I'm filming by myself. As you can see, this is the setup that we have going on. Um, I kind of already have it set up, as you can see, right here you could kind of see my setup already and it's literally because i just filmed that youtube intro right there so i might as well just do it the same way i just did it right here this is how i mess with my my exposure and stuff i'm gonna first of all i'm gonna reposition this and then i'm gonna zoom in just a little bit like this maybe even bring it up just a little bit zoom it in like that and now right here is a little too exposed so if you come right here you could see this is iso right here you want to have this as low as possible so for my current lens it doesn't go any lower than 200 as you could see right there um, now the main thing i'm going to mess with is my f-stop so i'm going to take my f-stop kind of adjust it so 4.0 is going to be well or 4.5 um, because then it'll focus me in the background and then it should be good to go now i'm shooting at 30 frames a second which means that my shutter is at 1 60th and uh yeah everything else should be good i'm shooting an s log 3 you guys can get a general basis of how that works now i'm about to film the reel it's just as simple as just filming yourself so i'm going to take one of those ideas and literally just speak about it right and then i'm going to clip it up that's all i do when i create my own reels <laughs> All right guys, so it's been about a day. I was gonna film it, some stuff came up. I had to uh, leave this video in behind for about 24 hours, but we're back at it. We're in DaVinci Resolve Studio right now. So anyway, we're gonna get straight into the editing process. Um, and first things first, I'm gonna just drag my clip in. This is my clip, I just have it. It'll ask you to change your frame rate. Just go ahead and change it um, and wait for it to render in. Now I'm gonna hit Shift 9 and I'm just gonna reverse these. So I'm gonna do 1080, 1920, safe. Okay, cool, now that we're on the same page. Now, before I move any further, I'm just gonna do a quick power grade right here to reverse my footage back to normal. Now I'm gonna grab a LUT. I'm gonna go to some cinematic LUTs, see what I could do. All right, that one looks good. Now, something unfortunate is I was using a mic in the video, but it, it the, the audio wasn't recording. So it's very unfortunate that it turned out in that in, in the end but the audio legitimately was not recording, so I'm not able to use audio, but good thing in DaVinci Resolve, we have what's called voice isolation. Okay, someone told me about this. I've been using Adobe Podcast AI for some reason, and I never knew about voice isolation. I'm paying for the studio version, so I might as well use the studio version things that are, you know, the options. So we're good to go. I'm just gonna, I have a lot of mess ups in here, so I'm gonna have to chop this up, um, but, Right now, I'm just about to chop this up. I'm gonna speed it up. You know, it doesn't really take too long to chop it up, but uh, yeah, I'll see you when it's done chopped up. So I just got done chopping this bad boy up. We are only 30 seconds of a video, so this is gonna be temp temporarily short, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna also go over like how I post and stuff, but for these style of videos, I'm really not looking for much like edited crazy. Uh, I started to step back away from editing, but don't worry if you guys are watching my videos, that doesn't mean I'm gonna not, you know, teach you guys all these editing tricks. But for this video alone, I'll let you guys know right now there's not gonna be any like crazy like animation, 3D, all that, etc. stuff. This is just simply how my videos are going to look from now on for my videos personally. 
but I'm still gonna teach you guys how to do all those crazy animations still, so there's nothing to worry about. So for this video, I'm kind of thinking, since it's motivational, I'm kind of thinking, so I have my power grade on it, right? Thinking I just drag an adjustment clip on this, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and find film look. So I have this like film look type of deal here. I'm gonna take the key output under this masking subject and I'm gonna put it at like 0.7 around there. Then you can kind of see the difference. It kind of dims it and then makes the video like more motivational. Um, you can find any of these like film looks like really anywhere, honestly, it's, it's, there's no limit to this. So in this video, I'm gonna be using a lot of presets. Um, I'm actually gonna be using one of my presets in this video to show you guys exactly how it works pre-animate they will be dropping soon and they're going to be for insanely cheap you're just going to support a creator and you guys are going to be able to get crazy looks like this um, i'm going to show you guys here in a second what those looks are going to look like but um essentially uh in this video i'm going to be using a lot of presets a lot of presets that i just made in my in you know myself so here i'm going to go into my effects so right here, I have this effect right here. Uh, it's literally just a preset that you guys can get for completely free with the link down below. This is just another creator. This isn't even me. I'm not making any money off this as well. This is called Magic Zoom. I suggest you use it in every single video. So this is just My gonna- My biggest fear is being in the same- It's just gonna do a zoom. Exact position that I was as last year. As last year. So for here, since that transition kind of translates really slow, I'm going to grab what's called an overlay, film overlay, whatever you want to call them. Go a few frames, probably right there. Uh, and under the composite, just hit screen. Think about And then you'll get that look right there. So now for the sound effects, I'm just going to grab a camera shutter, really anything. If you guys want me to drop my sound effect pack, I did it for free in the past, but now it's expired. If you want it, then let me know down in the comments. I'll release it for free in my next video. Think about your, think about, think about. So that's like one sound effect. And then I'm gonna take this paper. And then I'm also, I know it's a little extreme, but I'm gonna take this snap, place it right Bye. there, boom. Fade it out, turn that down. Number one thing you guys suck at is, is your audio and your sound effects. You make them extremely too loud. Think about your, Think about so that's still a little loud. So I'm literally just as a whole gonna turn it down to like seven. Think about yourself and where you're at right now. Think about where you want to be. What goals do you want to accomplish? There are so many people out there you want to be. What? So for this instant, I'm gonna turn off this film look. Goals do you want to accomplish? Um, so since I say what goals do you want to accomplish, I'm gonna turn this up. <clears throat> And I'm gonna come to my page. I'm gonna add a new node under all my previous nodes, come under the magic mask. And I'm gonna go on right here and I'm just gonna, you know, kind of draw on myself, uh, click this to see what you're actually selecting. And then it may take like a second to load. Okay, so now that the, it rendered in, um, as you can see a few things here that it did terribly wrong on. So I'm just gonna kind of go around me and now it should be a good, do a good job. We're gonna track back and forth. Okay, so now that you're done, you're gonna hit double click and then hit add an alpha, connect the blue dots, and now you're good to go. So now, so I have this space above my head, right? I'm gonna double duplicate this mirror effect that I have, right? But except I'm gonna do it a little further like this. What, 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 what? So the effect already starts to come in. So as you can see, it already just zooms in. So instead of it zooming in on my face, I'm gonna come right here and go to Fusion Overlay. You're gonna get this little X. I'm just gonna bring it up this way. I'm gonna keep it at the top. And going into effects under the zoom scale, I'm just gonna zoom it in a lot. And we're gonna come to the end. Okay, so now that we have that and my subject is out, is, you know, masked out. Under my text, I have a whole bunch of these text effects that I have. I'm gonna drop on this mirror text. I'm gonna double click and I am going to go into the fusion page with this. Okay, as you can see, this bad boy is massive. So I'm just gonna bring it up right here and bring it up around there and make sure it's looking all good. So under the template one, I'm gonna do goals and I'm gonna emphasize it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click, hit character level styling, go to modifiers, 
highlight the emphasizing and just simply make them red like that. That'll give it some character. So as you can see, this is what it's looking like. I think I'm just gonna scale it up way more. Scale it up right about there and then maybe even just take it down just a little bit. So then under this, this is my node tree, by the way, you can go ahead and copy it. Shout out to the guy who helped me in my free discord down below, join the free discord. I'm gonna hit transform and I'm gonna do a simple animation. So I'm gonna do that, go like 20-ish, five frames. Make sure it goes all the way back up. Under my settings, I'm gonna use motion blur and I'm just gonna smooth this out. So now that that effect is done, this is what we're looking like. Goals comes up and it kind of wiggles around, goes out and goes back down. So now to really bring this together, I'm gonna explode my computer basically. Um, so I'm gonna drop magic zoom on this, but don't be fooled. I am going to turn on just zoom and hold. And I'm actually just gonna put this on zero so it doesn't go anywhere. I'm just gonna come down to this camera shake and turn the motion scale up so that it shakes around, which is what I want it to do. Have it shake around a little bit more. Now we're just gonna get some of the steps out of the way. I have a swoosh right here. Uh, like I said, I really, I really want this to be very subtle, if I'm being honest. So uh, sometimes it's hard for people to hear it, which is exactly what I want. So I'm literally just gonna turn that down and I'm only gonna do it for that one too. I'm not gonna do it for the one out, I'm just gonna do it for the one on the way up. So now we There's have so that effect people, done. People out there who have the biggest dreams in the world, yet they let small minded who have the biggest, biggest dreams in the world. So right here before I start speaking, I'm actually gonna drag and drop on this zoom in effect again. So this time I'm gonna drag and drop the first exact, um, first zoom we ever did. I'm gonna go a few frames so that it zooms in while the clip changes just like that. Let small-minded people stop them from achieving those goals. And then do the same on the way out. So it's zooming out as it changes clips. It doesn't make any sense. This is your life that you get to live. You only get one life. So for me personally, if I have all these goals and dreams... When I say so for me personally, it's kind of like something that's quick. I'm just gonna zoom in on my face like that so it'll look like one this. Life. So for Okay, perfect. So I honestly think that is where I'm gonna stop the effects because one, my computer is blowing up um, and I don't wanna take too long on this edit. I've been doing it for 25 minutes. You know, that's perfect, bro. That's really all you need for an edit. So I'm gonna add on this riser at the end, secret riser, I'm not telling you where I get it. And I'm just gonna add a little vert transition to end it off. And what I do is before I cut it up, I'm gonna come to the composite mode and turn it to screen. And I'm actually gonna bring this like right here, cut that there, bring this all the way to the beginning. So it's a, it is the start to the video. So just like that. Biggest feet. Now I'm gonna bring this clip above all everything. So now it has that film look still. Um, <clears throat> and like I said before, I'm gonna highlight all of these, make a new compound clip. And I'm simply gonna come to the audio and just turn on voice isolation. Okay guys, so we're done with all the effects. I have the film look on it. Everything is good to go. By the way, the results will be at the end, so stay tuned. Um, now I'm just gonna come to the timeline. I'm gonna create subtitles. Um, I'm gonna preferably do around eight. Now they're gonna generate, this might take you know 30 seconds to a minute. Okay guys, so captions are done. My computer is absolutely blowing up. I don't know how I'm gonna finish this video. But um, so guys, I have a video on this, but this is called Snap Captions. It is a new plugin to DaVinci Resolve. It's actually free only if you have the paid version. So technically it's not free, but the plugin itself is free. So I have a bunch of these templates made right here. As you can see, I'm just gonna add these to my master's bin right here. Okay, so I have all these captions right here. As you can see, it's super laggy. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to workspaces. I'm gonna go to scripts comp and then I'm gonna hit snap captions. Now under here, I'm just gonna do my Nectar slide. I'm gonna remove the punctuation and do uppercase and then just generate the captions. Okay, now the captions are done. I can't show you because that's how bad, how, that's how laggy it is. So I'm gonna leave the results at the end. And um, if you guys want me to go over a video on how I did that caption, I will. Stay tuned, that will be a whole video because it's actually a little in depth than you think. But here are the final results. My biggest fear 
is being in the same exact position that I was as last year. Think about yourself and where you're at right now. Think about where you want to be. What goals do you want to accomplish? There are so many people out there who have the biggest dreams in the world, yet they let small-minded people stop them from achieving those goals. That doesn't make any sense. This is your life that you get to live. You only get one life. So for me personally, if I have all these goals and dreams that I want to accomplish, I'm going to take action. I'm going to outwork everyone. And that's simply because I don't want to be in the same position that I was as last year. All right, guys, that is going to conclude this video. I'm about to show you guys how I post. It's really not that hard. So I literally just airdropped it to myself. So I'm just going to click this, hit next. And uh, I'm going to go find a trending audio, kind of like this one right here. Once you have it, you're just going to hit next. And I like to just come up here and mess with the controls. So turn this at 100, turn this down at like 15. And now your video is ready to go. So now you're going to hit next. You're going to hit write a caption. I'm just going to be like, this is my biggest fear. And do a little dot, dot, dot. Now I'm going to hit return, return. And then I'm going to do a few hashtags. FYP, trending. And then I'm gonna hit okay, I'm gonna find a good cover. That's already a good cover because that's how all my shit looks on my page. Now I'm just gonna hit share reel and then we're good to go. So now as you can see, it's up and running on my IG right now. If you guys go like it right now, go show some love on this video. This is my Instagram right here, go follow it up. But yeah guys, it's as simple as that. And if you stay consistent and do that, then you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna go somewhere. Now I'm not by all means some guru trying to sell you anything actually. I don't have anything to sell you. Um, I don't have, I don't even have social proof yet, so just follow along on this journey. I'm trying to help other editors out there make it into the space, get some clients. Um, join the free Discord down below. That's going to conclude this video. Let me know. Personally, DM me what type of videos you guys are trying to see, and then I'll make it. I'll try my best to make those types of videos that you guys are trying to see. But anyways, this is going to conclude the video for today. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, peace.